Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Rudd's here. We're going to do a uh, shave of the day, including a review of the bevel razor and bevel brush. Drink of no drink of the night is uh, sticking with it. Tito's ice lemon lime seltzer, twist of lime. Cheers. So, <clears throat> here's the razor. Um, I have the whole kit, but I'm only going to be reviewing the razor and brush, as well as it did come with bevel blades, uh, unbranded. I'm not sure who makes them. But wanted to show you how it loads and how it protects the ends uh, before I get really in depth into the review wanted to uh, say uh, go get them to all the people participating in the uh, lather games on um, our wet shaving on reddit they the month of June is a uh, kind of a freestyle not freestyle like a conformed way of sh you know using certain products that fall into classes every day of the month and uh, there's some great prizes for people who can uh, get the most uh, participation in terms of meeting each day so good luck to everyone and enjoy it I'll be uh, following along so top cap nice posts the blade on and then the bottom the base plate it's it's the base plate actually envelopes the top cap on the ends here I don't know if you saw that but so it's there's no uh, side exposure here and there is an indent here for the handle so screws right in I'm not sure if that means you cannot use other handles with it I didn't try <sighs> maybe somebody that's tried can chime in decent weight to it um, this is like brushed so it doesn't feel too slippery we'll see once we get it wet um, but there it is also is the um, bevel brush which I've had soaking it's a badger of some kind I'm not sure if it's finest pure best I don't know the classifications the handle is plastic feels pretty hollow and light so the brush is not heavy especially once it's soaked I've been soaking it uh, soap of choice tonight Barristan Man Cheshire. So, bloom in the soap. Wet brush. Get to loading here. I think I'm a little wet, but we'll be okay. The um, bevel system as it's called consists of the brush the razor the blades as well as uh, pre-shave oil shave cream and a post shave so they don't include the uh, razor blades themselves so it's a five-part system between those other things uh, and that retails for you can get it now at Target Target.com for like seventy six dollars and the razor itself can be bought standalone for forty two And finally, the uh, the brush, which I can already tell you I'm not a big fan of. It's, it's extremely scritchy. 
again though, take that worth a grain of salt. I don't use animal hair very often. Uh, but that can be had at Target for $25. If I had to guess, you can probably get a better brush in that price range uh, whether you make it yourself or um, if you bought it pre-made I don't have any issues with um, scratch in terms of it's not going to irritate my face. <clears throat> and I know some guys like it, but again, I think this can be had. There can be better had. So there we are, pinked it up. And we'll give this a whirl. Right off the bat, the angle. Very easy to find. Let's see, blade exposure is uh, middle of the road. Not an aggressive razor, but certainly not a mild like a Gillette Tech. This is slightly slippery, but I don't feel like I need to put a death grip on it to uh, ensure that it doesn't fall out of my hands. Um, but it definitely could use use a bit of knurling. So let me get cleaned up and uh, relather, and we'll come back for pass number two. All right, we're back. We'll go with pass number two. The, um, I felt my face after the pass took off uh, plenty of hair.
these blades are okay, but they're not great. Um, definitely ripped myself apart right there. On my sensitive area. Happens also when I'm using a uh, straight that needs honing. Yeah, but it's definitely tuggy there on my sensitive. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go with. The nice thing about the razor in general or the marketing is it's certainly aimed at the mainstream. If you check out the uh, literature on bevel.com, you see that it's aimed to uh, reduce people, uh, reduce razor bumps for people that are prone to that. And, uh, you know, it's at Target, which is a national brand. You can go, anybody can go there and pick one up. So, I wouldn't say that is the uh, razor's fault. Maybe the blades, maybe just my shitty technique with the DE, but um, that's happened before. A little bit of irritation. Everything else, though, smooth, no irritation in the least nice mid to mild shave nothing crazy aggressive let me get cleaned up and uh we'll be back for some closing comments all right folks <clears throat> we're back gonna uh splash on some matching kyovo The irritation is uh, not too bad. But boy, that feels good everywhere. Wonderful, wonderful aftershave. So just a quick recap. Barrister Man Cheshire, Bevel Razor, Bevel Badger Brush. Oh, I splashed the label. Kyovu Cheshire. So, uh, would I recommend this? Yeah, I think I would. Um, this is definitely, if you've got somebody interested in, you know, learning how to wet shave with a DE who's not going to become a freak in the hobby like the rest of us are wants to make a one-time purchase this is certainly a viable option easily had at Target or through Bevel's website uh, this I definitely would not recommend personally um, let me know in the comments below if you are a animal hair user most of the time and have tried this and let me know how it stacks up uh, in your experience but in my experience which is very limited there are better options uh, so thank you very much to uh the razor queen tiffany for allowing me to uh uh try this it's on loan to me right now and uh, i appreciate y'all watching let me know if you have any questions Signing off. Take care.